안녕하십니까 여러분. 저는 연극 아저씨입니다. Today I would like to introduce my zombie writing game. This game can really help to make writing lessons more fun and interesting. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is change the PPT view size from 4x3 to 16x9 if it's not already set up in 69 already. So go ahead and do that. Then there's a blank slide and then the next slide will introduce this game. Zombie writing game and it's got lots of uh, scary music <laughs> and a few uh, more cutie than scary zombies. So the way that this game will work is that uh, there's an introduction here in English. So students will choose one word or sentence and then they will write the word or sentence on a piece of paper or in their English notebooks or possibly in their book if they can find some space. Now what's really useful here is that there are Korean instructions. This is very useful for the students to understand the game and also very useful sometimes to help the Korean teacher to understand the game. And so as it says in Korean there are three sentences, choose one, write the sentence and then get the points. And what you can do is use this slide to show how the points work. So if I click on the green rectangular box here, it will disappear. Uh, my voice has been inserted into this game. Uh, there are three zombies if they wrote this sentence. No zombies equals no points. And same again there, uh, three zombies equals three points, okay? Are you ready? So there are eight rounds. Now I've made it eight rounds. I found that if you make it 10 rounds, it can be a little bit too long and students can lose interest. So eight rounds seems to work quite well. So here we are, the first slide. So this is a template. So you can write whatever words you want in here, words or sentence. I will just make a very simple example, change it to apple, banana, and strawberry. So you can make full sentences as you like. And students will write one of these words or the full sentence uh, in their notebook or on a piece of paper. Uh, give them some time to write, but not too long. You may want to put a counter on at some point. So usually around half a minute or a little bit more is enough to write a, a simple short sentence. And when everyone is finished, you can, if you want to, go around and check that their writing is correct and the spellings are correct, so depending on how strict you want to be with this game, and then click. So if I click on Apple, there you go. One zombie equals one point. Banana, no zombies, no points. And strawberry, three zombies, good. Okay, so they can write their points down in their notebook or on their paper, and then, keep going with the round. So round two, uh, game gets a little more interesting. So we've got A, no zombies, no zombies. Four zombies there, four points. Okay, round three. Are you ready? And same again. Write your words in, word or sentence, two zombies. Yeah, so when the five zombies come up, everybody tends to go wild because they got a lot of points and then no zombies equals no points okay so Are that's you? it keep going with this game until you do all of the eight rounds you can see them all here okay so this is uh, round eight here when you get to round eight it says in Korean in the top left hand corner Maggi Mac indicating to the students and the teacher that it this is the last round the final one okay there's one zombie, two zombies, and five zombies. And then that is the end of the game. Some funky music and the end. Uh, just one extra thing here. I did include some, um, some well, a template for writing the, the sentences and also putting the points down. So you can print these out and they can write a word or a sentence on each line and then they can total their points at the end although I tend to just use their English notebooks is uh, more convenient. But if you want to, you can go ahead and print this. There are some cute zombies that will come up if you print it. So that is about it. Um, I hope that is self-explanatory. Um, it is a, a good game, actually. It seems to be uh, popular with most students. So go ahead, 
and download the game from the template uh, within this YouTube video. So thanks a lot and um, have a great day and enjoy your teaching. Bye bye.